Shankara Troop. I'm not in the mood for Tyrone's sorry. Baby, give me some loving routine. So when I see him in the hall, I storm past as if he's not even there. Eventually, he'll figure out why. I come to school sporting shades and a Johnny print across my left cheek. Johnny being the name of the idiot who smacked me last night. Naturally, Portia is the first person who notices my new tattoo. She walks straight up to me and says, you deserve better, girlfriend, and you know it. No hello, no how are you, just you deserve better. Then she turns away and walks into the classroom. Typical Portia. No nonsense. That's why we get along. Then here comes Sheila Gambaroni. The minute she sees me, she demands to know the name of the guy who gave me my shiner. Like she's going to send her brothers after him or something. I keep his name to myself just in case. She commences to call the guy everything but a child of God, which makes her feel better, I think. Then gives me a hug and says she'll see me later. Later, Sheila is a bit over the top with this sister act, as if she's trying to make up for being white. But she means well. I can do without some of the other girls who stare at me, though. I know they're just looking for something to talk about. So I rip off my sunglasses, let them get a better look. Might as well stare all you want. This is the first and last time you'll ever see me like this. Of course, that's what they all say. Nobody knows that better than me. My sister's boyfriends have been beating on her for years. I made up my mind a long time ago. I'm not having none of that. Last night, I tried telling this to Johnny, who seems to be hard of hearing. He brought me home from a movie. He came in for a while, got comfortable since mom was working overtime, and we had the apartment to ourselves. We locked lips for a few minutes. Next thing I know, he's fingering my shirt buttons. I push him away, gently at first. I think we better slow down, I say. No, no, he says, voice all husky. It's just getting good. This time, his hand shoots up my skirt. Bad move. I jump off the sofa like it's on fire. Maybe it's time for you to go. He grabbed my skirt and tried pulling me back down, which is right about when I hauled off and smacked him. He leaped up and smacked me back. My jaw dropped from shock, and I looked in his eyes and saw my sister's reflection. I turned away, strode to the door, unlocked it, and held it open for him. Hope you enjoyed yourself, I said, because that's the last time you'll ever lay a hand on me. Now get out. He actually looked like he was studying on stand, so I stepped out into the hall and screamed at the top of my lungs. I said, get out. Fearing trouble, he left. Now I've got this ugly tattoo on my cheek. I thought about skipping school today, but I hate to miss English. Besides, the bruise is temporary and so is the pain. Still, I'd rather not have kids gawking at me all period. So I park myself in the back of the room and wait for Mr. Ward to call our English class to attention. Mr. Ward is funny. Sometimes he asks us a question with no warning and tells us to answer quick without stopping to think about it. The truth is always on the tip of your tongue, he says. It's the fabrications that take a lot of time. Yesterday, he asked us, what do you know? Yesterday, I said my name, but today would be different. Today, I'd tell him a woman ain't no punching bag. That's what I know. Open mic. Bruised Love by Shankara Troop. A midnight thirst sent me padding to the kitchen for a jelly jar of water and an accidental run-in with my sister. She tiptoed in, late and limping, her cheek raw as red-brown meat. I caught a quick glance in the chilly glow of the refrigerator before she had a chance to hide the latest souvenir her boyfriend gave her. I bruise easily as one of the lies she sprinkles like sugar. But I'm 15, not brainless. Besides, I knew the truth at 10. He'll never do it again, he's, she swears, but he will, because she'll let him. Now me, I've got no, ex, no use for lame excuses or imitation love that packs a punch. Tyrone. My pops used to hit my moms like that. When I was little, I used to hide under my bed and cry, scared he was coming for me next. Damn, I ain't thought about that in years. How could you do that, Pop? I don't get it. Is that why he hung around? 
so he'd have somebody smaller than him to beat up on? I don't even want to go there. I'm just glad he finally stopped drinking and cleaned up his act before he checked out. Gave us a chance to have some good times together. Shankara was the third one up today. Her stuff was so deep, nobody wanted to follow her. There weren't but two more people planning to read anyway, including me. We both decided to bag it till the next open mic. Meanwhile, I'm going to be busy writing me a rap about dudes beating on women. I'll call it Little Men, because that's what they are.